Hello everyone and welcome back to Sandstone. Um, I have fixed up the monument, I think. I had a bunch of leftover blocks from the chest, but I can't see anything else broken, so I'm going to assume it's fixed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's just spare in case you mess up, or maybe you're meant to like build a nice pretty art monument, like out here or something. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show that this is fixed, and I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, we're back here, and today we're going to follow this sign and go back to this area, which I think is called Treacherous Climb. Um, yeah, <laughs> completely lost my train of thought there. We're going to go back. We're going to... Which way is it? Yes, this way. Um, we're going to finish exploring it because last time I just ran up to the first spawner and uh, farmed a little from it. Today we're going to go all the way up to the top, which it looks so far away from down here, but it really won't take us that long at all. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to come and get some iron. And I think there's some other redstone maybe. But we don't really need redstone until we want to make potions. Yeah, treacherous climb. So, um, as I mentioned before in the first episode, these towers are the main thing you have to worry about. The skeletons inside, the windstorm skeletons, I believe, they have a very powerful punch bow. And I really shouldn't be doing this. Yep. Yeah. This is a very stupid strategy. Maybe I can get rid of him. Oh. Don't even think about it. Right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the way you want to do it. You want to... Oh. Okay. Let's just assume I showed you that. So that you can see what happens if you do it wrong. Um, and not me just being stupid. What you want to do is stay low like I tried on the first episode. Um, well, I think I did it on the first episode. You sort of keep low and they can't shoot past the rim. Um, so you're usually safe. Occasionally, I think they can get a shot off. But for the most part, you should be fine. Down there is more coal and stone, and we don't need either. Seriously, we've got like half chest full of stone. Um, and we can make charcoal. Right, let's see. If I can't, oh. and carefully, okay. Yeah, this is actually a lot more terrifying. <laughs> I usually don't do so bad. Ooh, this got him. Oh, I'm too fast. Yeah. That should be enough. But if you want to be really safe, you can just do that. Um, you basically want to just block line of sight with the skeletons. Get something up. We we'll get something in between you and them, so either dig into the hole, dig into the floor, um, or seal them off, like we're doing here. Down there, it actually from here it just looks like another block, but uh, there's actually a small cave. Remember that for later, not too much later. All right, we've got another one up here, and we keep going. Right, this one's actually pretty good because he can't really see you. So yeah, what you're meant to do, or what I try to do, get here, boom, boom, he's not going to be an issue. And if, like I said, want to be really careful, block it off like that. Okay, so down here, way down at the bottom, you can see the redstone, you might be able to see the iron. There's not too much here, but I think this is the m densest deposit in the map. Like I showed last time, there's some under the Victory Monument. And there's some more at Dungeon 3, but I'll show that off. There's this guy here, and he's going to be a pain to, when you're coming down and up. When you're actually down there, it's fine. But um, we need to figure out how to deal with him. And I have a plan, which is really stupid, but should make for entertaining video, hopefully. Um, right, so we've got another one here. Again, we want to stay low. You want to try and get on these st support struts because they really can't get you from there, but you can block off their line of sight. And then, yeah, that guy's done. I think they can. 
I don't think he can see me, but in theory he should be able to shoot. Oh, okay, they can shoot you through that. Um. <laughs> oh, I should have tested that. Right. That's almost like I did that on purpose, but I didn't know. Honest. I suppose you could just do that and the fence would block you off. Anyway, the big reason I wanted to come here, apart from the iron, um, which in a way this is related to, but in here, I think if we break it here, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Water. Water. Words. Water bucket. And if I did this right... Oh, no, I did this wrong. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think you're expected to use this water bucket to sort of scale up and down the cliffs. Um, but I thought, why not just use the massive tower? Look at all this mess. Goodness. Look at all the water flowing. I hope that doesn't cause any kind of problem. Okay. Now, do I feel... Yeah, let's just go. Ah! Whoa. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to fall that far. <laughs> In here? Sorry, that was a bit fast. Right. I'm still kind of taken aback by, just, by what I just did. Oh, come on, these guys. Right, okay. No, there's more. Um, yeah, there's these stone bricks. They're silverfish. Inside is silver, are silverfish spawners. Um, and there's random silverfish blocks just uh, placed, placed throughout the map. Oh, and they drop magma cream. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't... Nah, I'm going to get rid of these. I know for certain... For sh Ooh, come on, right. Everyone in the water and then just go away. Wow, they, they can... They can pass through streams. I would have thought they'd have got washed away. Let's just go up for a bit. Or maybe... Ah, the bow works. Okay. Oh, I'm not healing. Okay. Right. Quick, quick, quick. Right. Done, done, done. Um, one more. Yes. There's three down here. No. With this... I don't think quick silverfish... Um, I don't think you can stop a silverfish spawner with light. But I could be wrong. But yeah. Um, that's the only three silverfish spawners you have to worry about. There are more, but they're hidden in blocks, like that one. So... Let's get some iron. Um, this will be really useful for just an upgrade to our tools, really. And I would like to make some iron doors, and I want to make... We've already got a bucket. Um, maybe I could try doing something with minecarts? I wouldn't know what, though. I've always wanted to make something really big and complicated with minecarts, but it's such a resource-intensive thing. So. I'm going to mine up a bunch of this iron, and I will be right back. Okay, I've mined out not all of it, but I've got two stacks worth of iron ore, and i got a few coal as well. Oh, my armor. Did I take it off, or did it break? must have broken. Um, so now we've got to get back up, and the smart choice would be to make a staircase. But this water's here, and I figured why not. Probably that's the reason why not, but... And I really shouldn't try to do this while swimming backwards. So... This... Is a very slow... Episode. Where are we? See there? Actually, if he shoots me, I should be fine. I'm kind of... Nicely sandwiched between two walls. Come on. Can I get him before he gets me? Yeah! Ooh! Great, now I've got to do all that again. Oh well, that's what I get for being cocky, I suppose. I'm a terrible shot. I'm usually not... Okay, what happened there? It bounced off something. My... Yeah, I think I'm safe. Right, let's keep going. Usually the water doesn't make this much mess, I just use the bucket, but I thought 
let's make a mess. I'm sure I won't come back to bite us, considering we're not going to come back here um, after today's episode. I might do it off camera to get some more iron, but and maybe some redstone. The last thing we need, that cave I showed you earlier, we need to head down there. Uh, let's go as low as we can get before dropping the bucket. Okay, here seems good. Bop. Whee. So yeah, um, if you're not too confident, you can just build a staircase down. But it's slow and it's boring. Not that riding up water is actually any faster, but uh, now we have a nice little waterfall cave. And in here we have Fortune 7. I should be better at that. Um, so yeah, that's the seventh challenge block fragment. The challenge block fragment for... Oh, what's the name of this? Treacherous Climb. Um, so I think we've got... Six now? Yeah, we've only got three more left. Um, wait, no. Yeah, three more left. I need to show you where the next one is, actually. There's one I've missed. Um, because there's one area that we've been in a lot that I haven't got the block fragment for. And that is the home base. There's actually a challenge block fragment for that. It's not technically in the base. Well, I suppose it's the desert area, rather. Um, it's actually on the path up to the base. There is a challenge block fragment there. Ooh, I'm up already. Right. I've got some cobblestone, so I'm just going to hope we don't get knocked off. Because one time I did this. And there was a skeleton up here, just shot me straight back down. And fortunately, the water was still there, so I didn't die. But I had to climb all the way back up. It was very boring and tedious. And I was hoping it wouldn't happen again. Otherwise, it'd be very dull to watch. So yes, I will walk back to base on camera. Just to show you where the next challenge block fragment is. Um, it's actually kind of... It's out of the way. It's not hidden. Um, you can see it, but you have to be in a very specific place. But uh, it's it also kind of the landmark it's in. You'll understand when I get there, but it does... The place it's at does make you want to go over there and investigate. And I really don't care, skeletons. Like, not at all. So... Right. Um, I don't know if I actually showed this off the first time I was going up. But there is kind of a odd structure. And it's actually the lava surrounding the first two floors in there. And it's just blocked off so it doesn't spread. But if you get curious and decide to go over and investigate, you will be re rewarded. Mm, words are hard. And in here, Fortune 5. So now we have 7. I think. Let's go put them away. Well, actually, technically I'm missing one still because I didn't get the... I got the one in Dungeon 1, but I forgot to bring it back so I don't have it on me. Um, also, I forgot to show this off. I moved the lapis up here. And it just made sense, really, because this is where the enchantment station is. Um, and the bed's there, which I need to sleep in again because I set my spawn while I was fixing the monument. Right. Fortune 7 and 5... So yeah, number four was uh, Eataburo. I can't Eataburo. Um, next one's in Dungeon Two, and in, the next ones are in Dungeon Two and Three, respectively. So there's that. Um, I'm just going to put you in here for now because I don't know where else, what else to do with you. Now that we've got this, actually, we can make proper fire resistance potions, not just the magma juice. So that might be useful. Um, I don't have a place for coal because I haven't mined any else. Uh, 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 why not? Let's just put these on. Um, yeah, these are the trousers that the zombies dropped. The ones in the desert. The ones that spawn at night in stupidly large numbers. They drop these. Um, I, it's a relatively common drop. You won't have to spend ages trying to get it. But it's just some pants. Um, so it's not really worth your time going after and it's not really that useful but it's infinite leather pants so I suppose you shouldn't 
look a gift horse in the mouth. Not that it's much of a gift horse, really. It's some damaged pants. Um, right, how long? Um, I think I'm going to call it there, actually. I will smelt up the iron off camera. Might upgrade this to... I might upgrade my armor to iron and my tools. And I can also fix... Oh, I can fix that stone sword. That'd be great. Um, so next time, we'll head off over here to Dungeon 2. I will see you then.